In this guitar lesson, we're going to go over some really useful bluegrass licks. And the great thing about these bluegrass licks is that you can use them in a ton of different bluegrass songs. I'm going to show you some really easy ways to apply these licks to a bluegrass solo break here in a minute. So a uh, quick example of some of these licks. Here's one. Two measures long, a little short lick. Uh, here's another one. Here's another. So we got, I think, eight of those short two measure long bluegrass licks. So I'm going to teach you those. And also I'm going to show you how to take a two measure lick that we've got today and combine it with another two measure lick to create a four measure long lick that you can add to a bluegrass solo. So it might turn it into something like this. So pretty cool stuff. This is gonna give you all that hard driving bluegrass sound that you're going for in your bluegrass guitar solos. So how do you use these bluegrass licks in a guitar solo break? And how do you take these licks and apply them to the song's melody? To show you a lot of real easy ways to do that. Here's one quick example that we're going to look at today. Uh, here's the melody for Cripple Creek right here, just a, a little section of it, a four measure section of Cripple Creek. So that was four measures long. One way you can use a two measure lick is to take that section I just played, four measures long, play the first two measures as the melody, and then the second half of that, you know, two measures, we're gonna play a lick. So two measures melody, two measures of bluegrass lick. So it would sound like this instead. Let's try it one more time. the melody first half. That's the first half. Now let's play the lick. Let's try it again. Melody. And then the lick. So I don't know, a lot of different ways you can do that. And uh, I'm going to show you all a few different real easy techniques that you can use to start taking these licks, start adding them to your bluegrass guitar solos. And we are going to really look at the melody for Cripple Creek today in this lesson. So this should be a really great lesson. A lot of concepts that we're going to cover that should be very helpful. Get you all to the next level for your bluegrass guitar soloing and give you all that really nice, hard driving bluegrass sound that we're all going for. So here is lick number one. So that lick starts out with the hammer on from the pointer to the middle. And then we got to pull off with the pointer finger. So pick, hammer, pick, pull off. Pick, hammer, pick, pull off. Pick, hammer, pick. catch that next note with our left ring finger. That's the first measure. 
So pause the video if you want to work on that first measure a little bit. But then at the end of measure one, you see that we're hammering on into measure two. So we got that, that note there at the end of measure one, hammer into the middle finger to start measure two. Let's learn measure two, starting with that hammer. Pick, hammer, open, middle. It's not too bad. Those very last two notes, the end of measure two, those are quarter notes, just down strokes. So let's play this entire lick, measures one and two combined. It makes a little more sense that way. Let's play it a couple more times here. Pause the video if you want to work on this lick a little bit and get it up to speed. When you're ready, let's practice this lick with the Cripple Creek melody. What we're going to do here, we're going to check out the A part of Cripple Creek. And instead of playing all four measures here of the A part, uh, with the traditional melody. What we're going to do is play two measures of traditional melody and then we'll play two measures of this bluegrass lick that we just learned. So it's going to sound like this. Traditional melody. Lick. Let's try using this exact same lick with the B part. So for the B part, Cripple Creek, we're going to do two measures traditional melody, and then we'll play this to measure bluegrass lick. It'll sound like this. Traditional melody. So bluegrass lick number one, very useful right there. You can use it in the A part and the B part. You know, we're just replacing sections of the traditional melody with these bluegrass licks. And all eight of the bluegrass licks that we have here in this lesson, they can be used in the exact same way we just did it there. Play two measures of the traditional melody and two measures of bluegrass lick. You can just choose which bluegrass lick you want to play. And another cool thing is you can use this exact same technique with a bunch of other bluegrass songs. This is how it's done. You know, you learn the traditional melody for the song and then you can start spicing up your traditional melody solo by replacing sections of the traditional melody with these bluegrass licks. So all eight of these licks, I use them all the time when I'm improvising. So very useful stuff. So let's go ahead and keep moving forward. We're going to check out the rest of these licks. Let's move on to lick number two here. It's got a similar feel to it, but it's going to be slightly different. I really like this lick number two a lot. 
Sounds like this. Really nice one. Let's try it a little bit slower. This lick is all eighth notes. Just learn that first measure right now. Using an all left middle finger for most of that. Except for the pull off. We're going to do the pull off with the pointer finger. Pause if you want to work on that. It takes a little bit of right hand pick control, but if you're uh, getting it a little bit sloppy right now, slow it down, play the notes nice and soft, and the speed and the volume will come eventually. And now let's learn the second measure here. This is a pretty standard lick. Starts with the left ring finger, and then a hammer, hammer from the pointer to the middle. When you're ready, let's combine these two measures. So pause the video if you want to work on lick number two. But now let's check this out with the Cripple Creek melody. Here is the A part of Cripple Creek. Same thing as before, we'll play two measures of the traditional melody, and then we'll play this two measure bluegrass lick, lick number two that we just learned. So here we go. Do that one more time. Okay, let's try this with the B part of Cripple Creek. Same thing, two measures traditional melody, two measures bluegrass lick number two. Traditional melody, lick, but moving right along here is lick number three that we've got today, this is a pretty standard lick, sounds like this.